Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. We are playing Company of Exiles. So what we're going to be talking about here is basically this is a spell-based format. Um, every time that you play a spell, you play a random unit with the same cost. We're going to be fiddling around with different ideas and playing around with different things that can actually like work with that. The thing that I think is most interesting is probably Invoke the Waystones, but there's a couple of other options that are going to be really, really fun. So we'll we'll probably play around with a couple of different ideas. Uh, first things first, I think we're going to make the deck that seems like the best deck, which is probably going to be uh oh there's there's actually a good mix i think red blue and green are the colors that i'm most interested in so first things first the end cards these are probably the best options that we have early on and those are going to be the ones that we're going to work with first of all also i need spells <clears throat> okay and oh you know you know end of is the best way to search here that'll give me everything i need oh no apparently not Goodness, end of your turn. Yeah, fair enough. Man, these cards are really hard to search for. End of the? No, that won't work. <sighs> there needs to be some sort of shorthand for these because they are just... Ah, okay. Anyways, uh, end of the barrel is one of the cards that I'm definitely into. So let's go ahead and craft a deck together. We will make something up. Uh, gotta delete something first. Not Accelerate, that's too fun. Door of the Exploder is pretty fun. I'm guessing Top of the Morning is not that... Wait, what is Top of the Morning? It's kind of close to what I'm looking for anyways. Let's let's just fiddle around with this, right? Okay, we got New Tomorrow, Eight of the Huru. I was going to go for Red, Green, Blue. And I want to go Scourge of Frostome. The purpose of this deck is to cheat out Scourge of Frostome as much as possible. I definitely have four Invoke the Waystones. Okay, Pet the Great Kiln. Temporal Distortion seems like a really reasonable relic, actually. Do I only have three new tomorrows? Fair enough. <laughs> Eight of the Huru creates 12 drops, which I think is not going to happen in this deck, but is something to note. Memento Mori, no. Lumen Reclaimer, no. Trailmaker, no. Tillier's Favored, probably not. Caleb's Favor? I'll take a Caleb's Favor. Heart of the Vault is probably straight playable. Like, that is actually a card that just, like, by itself is just so good that it's probably not a big deal that it's not a spell. Uh, Excavate is a little bit less playable, but could potentially be used to do some interesting replication. And we need power cards that actually do stuff. So spells that create... Yeah, spells that are power-based. Uh, the two that are most important are Find the Way and Secret Pages. We got those. Uh, let's get Find the Way first, because that's a big one. I'm going to get Herald Song as well. And I think we're probably going to do some, like, discard-focused stuff with, um... What's it? Not Herald Song. Herald Song is definitely the discard card. Invoke, Heart of the Vault, Caleb's, Herald's. Find the Way, Bren Chronicler of Ages. Oh man, Bren Chronicler of Ages. Shoot, should I be running Bren Chronicler of Ages? That sounds like a mistake. Uh, yeah, we're, we're probably not on Bren. I think what we're going to be doing here is looking for, uh, who? Okay, so we could do Second Sight, since we have Find the Way and Herald Song, and that gets us a lot of two drops together. That could be okay, especially since we have Trail Stories and Excavate, and we could maybe, like, throw one, uh, what's her butt in? Elysian Trailblazer. Uh, the card that is Long Live the Queen is very important here. Oh man, I only have one Long Live the Queen? Goodness. Well, that's going to be to my detriment, but we also have End of the Barrel. We have End of Days. We have End of Hostilities. All of those are really going to help out. Okay. Spell, spell, spells, long love the queen, secret pages, Caleb's favor, herald song, find the way, excavate, crest, 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 fire and time. Is there no justice in here? <laughs> what was this deck? All right. I don't even know how it was supposed to get new tomorrow, much less play it. All right. So we need to cut some time for some justice and some primal. Let's get rid of crest of fury and add three primal in. Or two primal and two time. There we go. That gets us a little closer to end of days and some other fun stuff. Okay, we've got 12 two drops 
four one drops, trail stories to make the two drops better, secret pages to help out. Uh, card draw would be nice, things like Channel the Tempest. Is Heart of the Vault supposed to be in the deck? I think it's going to be Channel here. I don't think it's going to be... Uh, I think instead of Praxis Banner, we're going to run Crest of Fury. Or possibly Crest... Oh, we already got Crest of Wisdom. And Seed of Impulse... Eh, Seed of Impulse can probably stay in if we want to. I don't know if we need to go Praxis here. Okay. This could also be like a Crest of something. Seek Power is a possibility. Pretty good one, I'd say. Most, most decks should probably be running for Seek Power. Backlash is interesting. Svetch is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so let's see here. How much power right now? 25. Currently on three Seeks. Excavate's good. Scourge of Frostum is the top end. New Tomorrow. Temporal Distortion. What am I missing? Uh, Kindle would be good. I could actually see Kindle being in here. Channel would be good. Channel's a little expensive, but we could do it. So we really got to get the crests going in a different direction. That's close enough, I think. Okay. Herald Song, Caleb's Favor. Caleb's Favor is kind of dumb. Let's ditch Caleb's Favor. Let's cut to one end of days. Was that too many invokes or just enough? <laughs> petition? Uh, I don't think I like Petition, but I think it's... Uh... Yeah, I think this is probably fine. Uh, we could roll Backlash because that would give us some like hand protection, like actually stop spells if we wanted to, instead of playing like, hmm. I can actually see myself cutting the excavates down again. Let's actually cut to one trail stories. Instead of two new tomorrows, I'm gonna run like one new tomorrow and two backlashes. A spell swipe would be especially nice, but I'm not in shadow yet. Okay, I don't know what this deck is, so let's just say... Yeah, Top of the Morning is not a terrible name for it. I understand why I named it that. That'll work. Okay, that's done. So let's throw this into the event. We're going to have some fun. Hand destruction is the optimal play. I don't know about that. Hey, card advantage is je definitely like what you're looking for. Like cards like hold up are certainly solid, but I feel like Long Live the Queen and like other things like that are actually really, really solid too. Crest, crest, primal time. Seek, secret pages, excavate. Okay, I'm down with this. I want to get as much time going as possible. Find the way is pretty good. Choose your battles wisely. Veteran strategist. Alright, I'm seeking two. Uh, I need more time and I need more fire. Let's grab some fire first. Ooh, we got a Wandering Wisp, which actually helps us out quite a bit. Elysian Trailblazer can go to the bottom for the moment. End of the barrel. That's a really strong card for me. We can do some cool things with that. So we play a fire here. I'm gonna go ahead and secret. Wait, he actually used the veteran strategist to gain influence. I was not expecting that. What a perfect I need a fire here for end of the barrel. And I made a dust color, so I guess we have nightfall going too. Great. <laughs> well, he's got a very good early game going, but my late game is very, very strong. He's playing flat Huru, so we'll probably see some Svetches come down around four ish. Something gets your eye. Actually, hard casting Genev Merchant to get Svetcha. Channel the Tempest. That's not a card that I particularly need here. Let's go for a uh, blue. Go for a yellow. 
I'm gonna find a way for a two drop. Tech for three. Guess we'll find a way for another two drop in a second here. Okay, that's fine. And you think an Aegis unit would be a bit more useful than that. And another blue would be good too. Alright. And my turn will probably excavate. I could excavate like a nightfall thing if I wanted to. Okay, sure. Yeah, hit what you like there. That's not a big problem. Got a Skyward Seer. My channels are gone. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so Seek Power here gets me green. I no longer have to go for blue, so let's get the yellow together. Do I have second sights? I don't think I do. This attack looks fine. Could have attacked with the 1-3 as well, but what? Uh, yeah, that probably would have been correct. I guess I don't really have anything to Warcry though, so it doesn't really matter. Next time Sigil gets me up to 4, which is still not enough for Wandering Wisp, but notable. I can excavate a couple of things. Crest of Impulse here. There's the Invoke I need. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, Frog. Swing both of these guys, maybe get like a Lightning Strike or something to the face. He actually hasn't done anything yet. I'm very curious as to what he's planning. What do you do in green-blue? Just straight up to Scourge? Okay, I think he's omening for Scourge or something like that. That's interesting. Ooh, there's Long Live the Queen. I normally would invoke the Waystones here, but I actually think that Long Live the Queen is really, really solid. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll play a Depleted Primal Sigil. And we will end our turn. You will suffer for what you have done. All right, well, we got to do something with our turns, so let's go ahead and excavate uh, Dust Color. A little worried this is just going to end in a string of Svetches. Like, is this just going to be mirror image after mirror image? I do have Long Live the Queen to counter Mirror Image, so that's good. Seems fine. More steel can't hurt. You've got a familiar face. And silence fetch you, so that doesn't happen again. Time to invoke the waystones. The waystones hold great power. Got a horse snatcher bat. Looks like we play a find the way. That gets us a two drop. My life for Argentport. Swing with everything, I think. My little one-drop wisp didn't, like, immediately in end the game, but I think that was worth it. And I get an undepleted sigil out. I kindle. We will not be I end of the barrel. And I can invoke again. Get a Sarasaur bolt. Oh, I played a kindle, which allows me to invoke the waystones again. Delightful. The rebels are aiming high. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, I have almost no red cards, but that's nice. Hold great power. 
Oh, it's a backlash. There's the Scourge. So we're in control. He can harsh roll this whole board, but I'll just Scourge and lock him down. <laughs> yeah, aid would pull Spirit of Resistance, which would blow up the whole board. It's not really that great. Got a harsh roll in here? Oh, I don't like the bring down. That's very sad. The Vanquish is also a little unfortunate. Let's trade... Bull? Yeah, we can take the bull by its horns. I'm guessing he's got his Scourge of Frostum at this point. Ooh, End of Hostilities is so good. Should I play that on something? I think that would be a bad... Well, I don't know. I don't have to play Scourge of Frostum immediately or anything. Yeah, let's just lock it. Get the board on lockdown. All right, cool. <laughs> So this jank pile's feeling pretty good. I think he's definitely omened for a Scourge of Frost home, so. Yeah, we're already in the in the thick of it, I think. Kindle, Temporal Distortion, Scourge. Scourge alone is really strong. Temporal Distortion's also a really good card to start. I don't like the fact that I really can't do anything here, but this might be worth it. Like, there are just three extremely powerful cards in my hand. I guess, like, I could end up discarding Scourge of Frost and that would be a problem. I need blue influence, so we'll take that. Find the way? Sure, that gets me a bunch of power and also some units that I can actually play. So I'm pretty actively into that. Yeah, I like the, the Skycrag approach. That's kind of like the good aggressive route. Also, you can do Caldera and Cradle, which may or may not be good. Long live the Queen. I think having a negate in hand is probably pretty good. So we'll go ahead and keep that on top. Find a way gets us. Uh, we need Primal and we need Time. Let's get Primal. Sparkatcher matches up pretty well against Snowchucker. Let's just try not to take damage here, since probably he plays a three drop next, and that probably, you know, deals with Spark with Snowchucker pretty well. I don't need to be the aggressor here. Okay, I didn't get sparked. He gotta crunch the hoarder, which Seems kind of disgusting. Like, that was actually a really good pull for him. Mordor makes a Shieldsmith, which is less useful for him. I don't want another 2-drop, so I think I'm just going to play... Wait, I... could I get a Spark? I can't quite get a Spark. Another blue is pretty important, and so is another yellow. Okay. One more blue, and then we can... And we're really close to being able to just spark end of the barrel here. That would get me Temporal Distortion, which probably isn't as good as just, like, waiting for Scourge. It's a little tricky. I can't Fast Spell Respond to Crunch, which I hate, but I can Long Live the Queen, which may or may not be good. Alright, he draws two cards, he discards a spell. That's pretty brutal. He's definitely got a Berserker 3-3 now, and that's just kind of a problem. I think we might really want to kindle End of the Barrel Temporal Distortion. That actually feels really solid. Torch is gone, cool. Yeah, no. Leave no one standing. Okay. So Time Sigil, Kindle, End of the Barrel, Temporal Distortion. Like, 
Like, I like this. I think we're doing okay. Make your move, sweetheart. Oh, unstable form is actually a pretty good idea. I like it. We should be running unstable form. <laughs> okay. So now... Now... Spark gets me... Doesn't get me end of the barrel. I can't spark and tribute at the same time. As much as I'd like to channel the Tempest immediately. It's easier to just go Kindle. End of the barrel. Temporal distortion. Voila! Okay, so we still can't really, like, channel on time, but I can find the way for depleted power, and we can potentially get some other good things going. Wow, that sucks. Okay. I don't think I want him to have a warp cart. Well, no, I'm actually fine with that. I need a blue and I need a yellow. Looks like I'm only going to be able to get the yellow today. Blocks are pretty iffy regardless. So this is 6, 12, 13, 14. Let's block Ashara. Alright, I'd like to draw some cards that are actually useful, thank you. Pretty please? He's pretty far ahead at this point. Oh, Trail Stories, that's a good one. Not good enough, but it's pretty good. Helpful Doorbot, you are helpful. You don't save me, but you're helpful. I need an undepleted Primal here. Actually, I need a, any kind of Primal. Oh god. Discard... Scourge, honestly? I've got plenty of Scourges. Three, four, five, six. It's six no matter what. He's got me. Well, that's a bummer. Try again. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I do like that unstable form setup. Yeah, he's going for like a more aggressive route, which I think is really good. Like that is a very solid plan. This is a good hand. Not only does it have a ton of power in it, but all of the power is also spells. Definitely need some blue. Probably need some yellow. Herald Song would allow me to draw and discard something, but I think I just want to get my yellow. Ooh, District Infantry I like. Yeah, that's a 5-5 five, five in a box. Perfectly good. Secret Pages gets me fire, which doesn't allow me to play End of the Barrel, but... Cull the deck's a pretty strong one. Secret pages. Close your eyes. Listen. Uh, we can put that on anything. Probably Combra Healer's fine. Grab a fire, play the fire. Five damage to face. Not bad. Sabo seems solid enough. I imagine he hits end of the barrel. Oh, he hit my Kindle. Okay. That is the card that I can actually cast this turn, but it's not really, like, yeah, it's not a big deal at this point.
Got a path lighter, which is a pretty solid blocker. Just a touch of poison. Nearest nightshade's a reasonable unit. <laughs> Got a Kindle. Okay, so let's go draw a discard. Proud to serve. Found a crest. Guess that's the thing I need most. Another Herald Song, probably not the card I need right now. Swing with both of these guys, because they're pretty good at being aggressive. If I cast End of Hostilities, what do I get to play a copy of? <laughs> Alright. Still messing with me. That's fine. That yeah, that's not the card you want to kill at this point. Like I can make six drops. I'm feeling pretty good about my life. I think uh, End of Hostilities on a Combray Healer feels pretty good. I can also get some Illumination Wisps, but Combray Healers can probably beef up this World Pyre Phoenix pretty well. Another round in the chamber. Okay. The Backlash was ready. Bullet Shaper is kind of funny because you can actually get some value out of it. If World Pyre Phoenix dies, I can cast it again with End of the Barrel. Would you look at that? More sabotages. That's not too bad a deal. He's a little up on cards now, though. Why not play the Ritual first? Uh... Primarily because I didn't want to play the Ritual if I could use it to get a Scourge of Frostome out. Or to warp into another Ritual. You know, like there's there's better combos for the end of the barrel. What's up, Don Juan? Okay. Might be able to play a 4-drop spell here. Be welcome, friend. Ooh, shoot, he got World Pyre Phoenix. Or he got Beckoning Woman, rather. He got World Pyre Phoenix too, but <laughs> in a different way. Okay. You've got a choice to make. Grab a time here. And my turn. You will suffer for what you have done. One grain of sand at a time. Grab another time here or another primal? Another time. The Combra healer can block Svetcha, and that's a pretty big deal. No good warp cards there, that's a bummer. It's my fault. We'll counter that. That gets us a unit and a card and yeah, we're back on top. Actually, should have blocked with the th three four. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that. Maybe that was correct. Okay, so crest of order here gets me a look at the top of my deck. Perfect. Okay. 
I can't actually play it right now, but it's still very good. Let's kill the 1-3 flyer, since that's very obnoxious. And I can play World Pyre Phoenix again. You will suffer for what you have done. Which it turns out is a pretty good play when you're locked out on spells. That's actually a really bad time to mirror image Svetcha, because he knows I'm gonna play World Pyre Phoenix. Don't get to end the barrel here, which is a bit of a bummer. Focus, child. And I really don't like Petition all that much. Maybe I should play with it a little bit more. But it seems not that great. Sadie had the Annihilate, certainly. But that just means that I've got a more expensive World Pyre Phoenix for the moment. What is written can be erased. So, <laughs> I ain't afraid of you. Come at me. He's gonna run out of gas eventually. Oh, okay. Uh, well, end of the barrel seems right, yeah? Whoo, dang good, all right. I think I got the lock. Yep, all right, cool. The thing about the hand destruction is that if you don't actually manage to take control of the game, like, all the card advantage that I'm running is gonna just completely out, out, outlive you. <laughs> 